I'm excited to share with you this moment because I'm gonna be one of the first to drive a Tesla Cybertruck, and here it is. It just may be a little smaller than you expected. It finally arrived after over a year of waiting. We finally have a Cybertruck you can drive. It's just in toy form. Mattel worked with Tesla to make a one-tenth scale version of the stainless steel, straight out of science fiction, electric pickup truck, coming soon to a dystopian future near you. So back in early 2020, Mattel showed off a prototype of a high-end collector's model Cybertruck. That RC had a lot of bells and whistles, and it went for $400. It sold out within hours. And now, Mattel is making a toy grade model priced at $100. It goes on sale Friday, May 21st on the Mattel Creations website. We have an early look at the toy. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So this remote control car comes with the CyberQuad ATV. Let's see all the goodies inside. Ooh, here we go. Come on out. Are you ready? <laughs> da, 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 da. There she is. And there's this little guy. Sabaquan. Like any good toy, it's always strapped like crazy and you need to get scissors awkwardly to take it out. Gonna need some batteries for this. Right, batteries. So the remote control is designed to look like the wheel of the Cybertruck. Now it's pretty lightweight. Although the real Cybertruck is made of stainless steel, we have here, you know, it's light plastic. It's a tool. This ATV is not remote control. It's a fun accessory though. It's a cute little add-on they had. The wheels, the wheels have a good rubber feel to them and they definitely look the same as what you would get in the real deal. So unlike the actual Cybertruck, you would charge this one with this little USB port charger. Let's turn it on. Oh, it's probably trying to pair with this. There we go. All right, so just like the real Cybertruck, there are no side view mirrors, but I've noticed uh, the real Cybertruck does have this unibrow light on top. You're not getting that in here. Uh, so a few features missing. Is there any way to see inside? No, no, it is it's painted solid. Of course, this is a rechargeable Cybertruck. Uh, it's gonna take about three hours to charge up the battery and they say you can get about 20 to 25 minutes of continuous play out of it. The real Cybertruck goes zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. This one is sure to annoy your pets, blazing by at about 10 miles an hour. So about that collector's model I mentioned, yeah, funny thing. Mattel sent over that one too, because they're just coming out now. And it is quite the machine. At four times the price, you get a lot more detail. So as you can see in the back, the tailgate does go down here too, while also lighting up. And the bed does have a cover to make it like the vault. And you can kind of see inside this one. They made the plastic a little more see-through. There are decals you can put in for that authentic cracked windshield experience. Oh my God. And it's definitely got a lot more muscle. It goes twice as fast with a controller that is a lot more detailed than the toy. Let's see how much a kid can haul back here. Sharks. 12 sharks. We still got room for more. How about some horses? Some horsepower, if you will. There's a lot of space. Maybe you could bring a few friends along. Hi, can I come ride in your Cybertruck? Yeah. Hey, can I come too? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can have a party back here, for sure. The Cybertruck is a tough truck. It's said to handle sledgehammers and small arms fire, but can it handle my kids? disappointing after just a few minutes of playing with it 
on the basketball court, it broke. <laughs> so right now, uh, it needs two back tires to be able to move, and uh, only one is moving. And it can't even go forward. So something dislodged in there uh, while I was going uh, forward to try to go backwards really fast. I guess that action of quickly trying to change direction might have messed something up inside. That's really disappointing. I broke it and I didn't even have to throw a ball at it. You know, I had a lot of fun while it lasted. <laughs> it was just a few minutes. I had so many cool ideas. I wanted to go take it on slow motion and kick up some dirt. And now look at you. You can't even move. I do hope Mattel keeps making different kid-friendly versions of the Cybertruck because this is such a fun vehicle. Look at the crazy shape of this truck. And I mean, it is just an iconic vehicle even before the real Cybertruck has even hit the streets. So it's a fun idea. I love it. If you get your hands on one of these, maybe be a little more gentle. It seems to be a bit delicate. Well, that's the end of my playtime with the toy model. But you know, we do still have the collector's edition. Maybe I can still have a little fun with that. All right, now this collector's edition, it's got four wheel drive and a lot more power. <laughs> like it. Woo. This baby got power. Woo. Watch out. <laughs> I think I hear some rocks in there. I don't think it was meant to go off-roading. Uh, but you know, you're just a little dusty. It's still good. It's still good. You're tough. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. We had good times together, my friend. We had some good times together. The kids were laughing. It just seems like the other day we were just laughing and playing and, you know, I'll always remember the five minutes we had. Thank you. Thank you for the joy.